Hello, hello. Hi, class. Okay, I'm ready. Hi, class. Good night to you. Welcome back. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening to you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. A los que tienen la cámara encendida. ¿De dónde están? Genesis, Jorge, Alberto, Carla, Lisette, Iván, José, Alberto, está por ahí. Edwin, Edgardo, Luis, Eduardo. Ahí tengo a Maritza, Elizabeth. How about the rest? ¿Dónde están los demás, chicos? Cameras on. Did you practice? ¿Qué hicieron el fin de semana? What did you do? What did you do last weekend? Let me I listen. was working, teacher. Really? You had to work yes. even yesterday, on Sunday? Uh, twice a day. Really? Wow. You know, same here. Sometimes I need to work on Sundays. Yeah, but it's like usually. I usually work on Sundays, right? But on Saturdays, I do. I need to work on Saturdays. So let me see. I already have 15 students. I'm still missing some. What else? What did you do? Practicamos los verbos en pasado. What did you do? ¿Qué hicieron el fin de semana? What did you do? Just one. Solo uno. I went to church. I went to church. Excellent. Muy buen manejo del verbo go. I went to the church. What did you do, Jose Alberto? Um, I visited. No, no he pasado. ¿verdad? Visited, okay. yes. I visited. My friends. You visited your friends. Luis Eduardo, what did you do? I went to the Ricardo Arjona concert. Really? Wow. Yes. How was it? Was it good? Good, good. It was good. How about the rain? Yes. It rained, right? It rained. It Jovio. rained. It rained. Okay, yes. yes. So it was a good concert, they say. Wow, interesting. What else did you do? Carla Lisette, what did you do? I went to work. Really? You went yeah. to work. Vaya, si se fijan cuando dicen I went to work. En este caso work se está refiriendo a el lugar, ¿verdad? Al place. Fui a y mencionamos el lugar. Y si queremos decir yo trabajé, ¿cómo sería? ¿Ay? Work. 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 Muy bien. Ahí ya funciona como un verbo y lo conjugo. ¿Ok? En el caso de I went to my work. Ya sirve la palabra work como un nombre. Así es el inglés. Una misma palabra puede ser utilizada como verbo. O como nombre. Excellent job. Class number five, week number two. Let me see what is the topic for today. Ah, but let me ask you, how about the platform? Did you complete section number one and section number two? Did you finish? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, yes. excellent. So for this week, we only have section number three and the midterm exam. Okay, do not forget that. Mm, what is the topic? This is the topic that we have. Okay, remember that the pre-intermediate two, it is like a review of previous topics, right? Probably you still remember about this topic from uh, principiante uno, principiante dos, and so on, right? So this is just going to be like a review, okay? Muchos ya manejan estos temas. Es un repaso de las reglas. Probably we can have different um, 
examples, different contexts. Section number three, what's your neighborhood like? What is the title of section number three? What's your neighborhood like? In English, we have this question, what plus like? ¿Para qué ocupamos esta pregunta? What plus like? ¿Cómo es? Mm, ok, ¿cómo es? Cuando me refiero a una persona, people, ¿cómo es? Me estoy refiriendo a appearance or am I making reference to personality? What is your friend like? What is your mom like? What are you like? ¿A qué creen que se refiere? What plus like? A personality or appearance? Personality. 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 Pues sí, recordamos. Muy bien. Y cuando hablamos de places, por ejemplo, what is El Salvador like? What is your neighborhood like? Aquí podemos hacer referencia a Descripción, como es en sí, ok, descripción. So what plus like, que ocupo para describir? What am I going to use in order to make descriptions? Look. Adjectives. So please go back to your notebook, take a look at the adjectives that we have, because in this section we are going to be describing, describing what? Describing your neighborhood, okay? So for that, we are going to use there is, there are, singular and plural, and quantifiers, want, any, and some, okay? So this is class number five, and let's move on. Vámonos ya a la plataforma. There we have a short video in which we are going to practice, okay? After that, we have some examples. What is your neighborhood like? Let me look for it. Here we go. All right. Okay, just let me look for your group. Wait. Okay, here we go, I'm ready. Here we go. Pre-intermediate. This is yours. Vamos a la section number three. There we are going to find the first topic, okay? As I mentioned before, this is just a review. Probably you already know about this topic you know about how we are going to use all of these topics, right? So here we go. Okay, what is the lesson objective? The first lesson objective. Edwin Edgardo, can you please help me out reading the objective for this lesson? Just read the objective, please. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to theories. There are one, any, and some. Okay, excellent. So that is the objective. I'm your new neighbor. Here we go. Let's listen to this conversation. Here we go. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. 
I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, let's listen again. Welcome everybody to section 8. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. Okay, here we go. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? A barber shop? Okay. So who is this people in the in this picture? What's his name? What's her name? Tell me about them. Give me that information, please. What his name? What is her name? Go class. What's his name? Jack. Jack. Jack, okay. Jack. What's her name? What is the lady's name? Mrs. Day. Mr. Mrs. Day. 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 Mrs. Day. La señora, ¿cómo lo traducimos en español? Será la señora Díaz, tal vez, probablemente. Mrs. Sí. Day, right? Señora so, Miss, las, tal vez, se me ocurre por ahí. Mrs. Day, probably. And who is new in town? Who is the new boy in town? Jack. 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 And he's asking about some places. Can you mention the places that he wants to locate? The grocery what? store. Oh, the grocery, grocery store. store. What else? Just that? Laundromat. The, laundromat. And what is, exactly. What is a laundromat? No exactly. Remember laundromat. Laundromat. Okay. And can you tell me? Shopping where, center. Uh -huh, the shopping center. Shopping barber center. Barber shop. And no, but he's not looking for the barber shop. He's not looking for the barber shop. This is a suggestion. What is she implying? ¿Qué está queriendo decirle? What is she implying? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay. So can you tell me where is the grocery store? Where is the grocery store? It's a place that you can buy some thing for your house. It's something like a store or something like that. Okay. But listen to my question, please. But very good definition. I really like it. On Pine Street. Where? Where? On Pine Street. Uh, it is on Pine Street. Uh, on Pine Street. Okay. Probably there are some on Pine Street. How about the laundromat? Where is it? Where is it? The laundromat. Across from the across shopping center. It is the across from center. the shopping center. What else can you find in the shopping center? A barber shop. A barber shop. Excellent. Esa es comprensión de lectura. Muy bien, clase. Okay, excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just, miren el verbo en pasado, moved. I just moved in. Acá en sonidos hacemos un link, enlazamos ambos sonidos. Okay, down, moved in, moved in. Um, oh, yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, 
there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop, and that's it. So can you mention what places are near the place you live? What do you have near your house or what is it in your neighborhood? What places can I find there? Mm -hmm. Romeo, in your case, what are the places that are in your neighborhood? Mm. ¿Qué encuentro en el neighborhood? Mm. For example, restaurants, Tisha. Ah, I can find restaurants. What else? Just restaurants? Yes, pizza, pizza hat. Um, okay. Um, Little Caesar. A Little Caesar um, restaurant. Subway. Really? Uh, Etc. <laughs> may, may I ask, where do you live? Uh, in San Vicente. Okay, so you have a lot of places near home. Yeah. How about you? Um, ¿Quién más le preguntamos? Let me see. Luis Eduardo. What is your neighborhood like? What can I find there? ¿Qué encuentro en su neighborhood? Mm -hmm. What can I find there? Luis? Where is him? He disappeared. Maria Dolores, what can I find in your neighborhood? Okay, teacher, in my neighborhood uh, has a, a park central. Oh, in San okay. There is a park. What else can you find? ¿Qué más encontramos, yeah, class? Yeah, Speaking uh, um, Centro comercial sería shopping center. Shopping? Yes, exactly. Or we can also say mall. Mall. Sería común. Lo que abarca muchas tenditas adentro un mall. For example, Metro Centro. General, it's, a mall. it's in general. Shopping center también se le llama. No son los shopping center que tenemos en El Salvador, ¿verdad? Ese es un título para ellos. Okay. Shopping, los shopping center, exactly. So, yes. look. Uh, what else? Uh, Diga. Um, Cuartel General de Zapote. Wow. Really? Okay. So, you have many places there. Class, what else can we find? ¿Qué más encontramos en un neighborhood? What can you find in a neighborhood? Bank, church, bank, short, parks. What else? Supermarket, supermarket, gym, a gym, a grocery store, a grocery store. Yes, Jose Alexander. What else? Post office, a drugstore, the post office, a drugstore, many places. gas station, gas station. How do you say Molino? Wow. Yes, teacher, yeah. you, got, you got me on that one. You got me on that one. Molino. How do we say Molino? I need to look for that. You know, I will do that right now. But before I look for that, ya vamos a practicar la conversación. But before, take a look at the first activity that we have. Um, les explico. I'm going to check the attendance list and then we go and work together, okay? What are we going to do? You're going to match the places and the definitions that we have here, okay? And after that, because you have seven different definitions, look, seven. And after that, you are going to find a definition. No es necesario que vayan a Google, not really. Just try to express in your own word, what is a coffee shop? What is a drugstore? What is a gas station? What is a library? And what is a post office? Okay, first activity, you are going to match. Look for the definition, right? And after that, no las escriban, this is a speaking time. Vamos a ver qué tanto vocabulary tienen, okay? 
Y luego voy a chequear la actividad, la, la asistencia. After this activity. Is it clear what we are going to do right now? ¿Está claro lo que van a hacer? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? I guess yes, it's quite easy. Quite easy for you. No, teacher. Repeat, please. Okay, excellent. Ahorita les explico. Just let me look for your group. Thank you. Let me see. Okay, now you can go to WhatsApp. Let me explain again. You're going to talk to your classmates about these places in your neighborhood. What do you need to do? You're going to match the places and the definitions, okay? Places and the definitions. Please, quiero que ocupen este vocabulario. For example, hey, what is a clothing store? What's a clothing store? How are you going to reply? It's a place where you, y luego buscan la correct definition, okay? Part number one. Second part, you're going to express using your vocabulary what a coffee shop is, the same for drugstore, gas station, library, and post office. Is it clear now? Yes? Probably yes, okay, I hope so. So let's get to work right now. Vamos a trabajar en grupo de tres, group of three, and groups of four. Here we go, class. Speaking time, practice with your classmates. Excellent. Okay, go with your classmates, please. There we go. If you are not able to join a group, you can stay here and practice here, okay? I'm just, I still have Linda and Edwin and Ricardo. Okay, go with your classmate, please. And Melissa, she's back. Are you having issues, Linda? ¿Le costó entrar a Linda o no recibió la invitación? Me puedes entrar, teacher. Me imagino. Vaya, entonces, si quiere, si gusta, quédese aquí con Edwin Edelgard. Creo que también le cuesta accesar. Para que trabajen en pareja, ¿ok? Vale. Excelente. Quizás este. La hay F. New Fashion, ¿verdad? La F. Ajá, la, Ajá, la, la uno, F. ¿verdad? Correcto, la F, sí. Veamos la 2. Eh, grocery Store. La 2 sería. Ajá. Grocery Store es la tienda, ¿verdad? Ajá. <ríe> Veamos. Uh, en la grocery store. Mm. La tres es con la C. English. La tres es Number con la C. Three. It's with letter. C. Number three goes with letter C. Excellent. C. Ah, there we go. English, exactly. Laundry mat is a get a hiker. Y la cuatro con la G. Y la cinco con la D. New stain. Y la. Y la. Number three. Hire salon. Esa sí creo que sería la CBA. Head a higher cut.
La, la tres. Uh -huh. Creía que esa es la C. Yeah. Ajá, sí. Mm, number four, laun, laundromat. No sé, no sé qué es eso. Eh, no sé si es. La, la bandería. Ajá. Sería la G, no. Yeah, sí, yes. Wash and dry your clothes. Mm, the number five news stand. Estamos bien ahí. Quedaría uno, uno F, dos A, tres C, cuatro G, five D, six E, y B. seven B. Y B. Yes. Estamos. Ya correlacionamos. Bueno, ¿Dejamos compartir? Sí, 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 sí. No, because we have to. Tenemos que las Ajá. palabras de abajo tenemos que describirlas también. Es cierto, tenemos eso todavía. What is a coffee shop? And what is a drugstore, gas station, library, or post office? Who were you working with, Jennifer? Oh, she's not. Hi, Jennifer. Hola, hola, creo que se me salió y me salí de mi grupo. ¿Con quién trabajaba? Do you still remember? No. No, no recuerdo. <laughs> ok, so don't worry, ya lo voy a sacar de las salas. Ya están regresando Está todos, bien. I don't know why. Está bien, gracias, gracias. Don't worry. Ok, I need to check the attendance list. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Here we go. Okay, welcome back. We need to check the attendance list right now. And after that, we are going to check this exercise. Did you finish? Not really. Yes, teacher. You did? Yes, 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 yes teacher. Yes. Vamos a ver. Today is Monday, the 21st. Class C, estamos en el 21 de noviembre. Wow. Yes, yes. Pass. Time flies, exactly. Bien, vamos a ver, Andrea Gabriela. Teacher. Dígame, tell me. This. Ok, eso le iba a decir, que no ha pasado uh -huh. listo. <laughs> Ahorita. Thank you, gracias por acordarme. You know, a veces pienso que ya he pasado, pero es con otro grupo que he pasado, no con ustedes tal vez. Así que siempre, si yo no me acuerdo, please, ayúdenme a recordar la asistencia. To check the attendance list, ok? Andrea Gabriela. Oh, Present teacher. And there you go. Excellent. Carlos Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Lisset. Carmen Lisset Santiana. Claudia Rebeca. Claudia Rebeca Orellana. Edwin Edgardo. 
Edwin Edgardo Alarcón. Okay. Just give me a second. Present teacher. Okay. Yes, es ya, ya empezaba a buscarlos. Where are you? Yeah. Ah, Edwin Edgardo, ahí está muy bien. Are you having issues with your internet connection, Edwin? Yes, teacher. Yes, right. Eh, igual, si le da problemas, puede apagar su cámara para que pueda escuchar un poco mejor. Esmeralda Isabel. Esmeralda Isabel Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Ok, thank you. Francisco Antonio. Present, teacher. Ok, Francisco Génesis Ariel. I am here, teacher. Ok, there you are, excellent. Iván. Ibrahim. Present teacher. Excellent, Ivan. Jennifer Tatiana. Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer. Jorge Alberto Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, Jorge. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, Jose. Jose Alexander. Jose Alexander Hernández. Ah, ok, there you are. Present teacher. Es que no, no podía encender el micrófono. <laughs> ok, don't worry. Karina Alejandra. Present teacher. Ok, Karina, Carla Liseta. Present teacher. Ok, Carla, Carla Stephanie. Carla Stephanie Rivera. Catherine Iracema. Present. Ok, Catherine. Leticia Aide. Present. Ok, Leticia. Linda Beatriz. Present. Ok, Linda. Luis Eduardo. I here. Ok, Luis. Mayra Xiomara. Present, teacher. Ok, Mayra. María Dolores. Present, teacher. Excelente. Maritza Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok, excelente. Melissa Stephanie. Melissa Stephanie Linares. Romeo Vladimir. Present teacher. Ok, Romeo Wendy Paola. Present teacher. Excelente, Wendy and Jessica Esmeralda. Present teacher. Ok, there we go. Uh, en el chat nadie ha escrito, ¿no? Alguien ha justificado su ausencia. No he revisado el chat completamente. Not right? Probably not. So now let me ask you. This is vocabulary. Es como una introducción del vocabulario que vamos a utilizar. And I really need you to help me out. I am going to ask you what is a and you are going to reply using it's a place for you. And then you give me the definition, okay? Linda Beatriz, what's a clothing store? What is this? What is a clothing store? Or clothing store? See, new fashion. Okay, but can you give me the complete definition? Clo clothing store? Fin the thing new fashion. Okay, it's a place where you uh -huh. como a la respuesta completa clase es un lugar en donde tú it's a place where you it's a place excellent where you where you find new fashions. Do you agree, class? Is that the correct one? Yes or no? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, 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 yes teacher. The correct. There we go. Jose Alexander, what is a grocery store? Mm, it's a place. Pero... <laughs> okay. Ah, it's a place where you get food and small items for the home. Okay. Items. Remember, class? Items. Items sería en español. Items. It's a place where you get food and small items items for the home right that is the correct one hair salon 
Ivan, what is a hair salon? What's that? It's a, it's a place where you get a haircut. There we go. It's a place where you get a haircut. Hair salon. De que otra forma conocemos los hair salons? What is another way to call this? Peluquería. Mm -hmm. But in English? Uh, barber. Barber. Barber, shop. barber shop. Barber shops. Hair salons or only salons or beauty. Beauty salons. I mean, les conocen. But barber shop. So which is the correct one? Let us see. That is the correct one. Excellent. What is a laundromat? Genesis. What is a laundromat? Y luego va Carlos Salgado. What is a laundromat? Let me see. It's a place for you. Let me see. It's a place where you wash and dry your clothes. Once again, it's a place for you. It's a place where you wash, wash and dry your clothes. Excellent. Wash. So, escuché al inicio. Wash. No. Wash. Yes. And yes, dry. I said that. Right. Excellent job. Wash. Wash and dry your clothes. Letter G is the correct one. Carlos Edgardo. What is a newsstand? News stand. <laughs> Luego va Karina Alejandra. Get ready. Uh, Carlos Edgardo Cruz. What is a news stand? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> try. You can try. Puede probar. You can try. Ahí está. 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 Ahí there we go. It's a place where you buy newspapers and magazines. Do we have these places in El Salvador? Tenemos los news stands right here. Do we? No. No, no right? We don't. Yeah, Francisco, tell me, Francisco Antonio. I came to participate. There we go. Number seven is going to be for you, okay? Karina Alejandra, okay, thank you. number six is for you. Excellent. I really love volunteers, you know. <laughs> Go, Karina. It's a place where you study a game or a concert. All ah, right. It's a place where you see a game or a concert. Como el concierto que fue Luis. ¿Quién fue? Luis Gerardo, right? There we go. So what is the correct letter? Letter E. e. Okay, and number seven is for you. Go ahead, please. What is a Wi Fi hotspot? Wi Fi hotspot. It's a place where you can connect to the internet. Ah, okay, but who was the one who was going to participate? Francisco, where are you? Hi, teacher. Uh huh. But good definition. Me gusta esa definición. Ya le ganaron la definición. What is a Wi-Fi hotspot? <laughs> sí, por eso no participé. Ahí ah, participó pues, la don't compañera. Don't worry. Tell me what is a coffee shop. What is a coffee shop? Entonces, what is that? It's a place where you to drink coffee with uh, sweet bread and wow. <laughs> to share with, with friends. Okay. Um, can connect to the internet. Exactly. There we go. You can connect to the internet. What a great definition. Uh, Maritza, que se me hizo Maritza? I was about to ask you, Maritza, but she's gone now. Okay, so let me look for another one. Perdón, teacher, excuse me. Ah, I was about to ask you, but don't worry. Maritza, what is a drugstore? Um, expect where you... Uh -huh. uh, find new spatula. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. Don't worry, take your time. Mm -hmm. 
Drug me dijo clothing store. Clothing drug, store. No, drug store. Drug, drug store. store. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm -hmm. Drug store. Okay, if you don't know, you can try with gas station. Yes, what is yes. a gas station? Uh -huh. No. no. Okay, no Jorge, don't worry, don't worry. Jorge Alberto, what is a drugstore? Uh, the gas station teacher. <laughs> uh, pero está bien. It's no, a... go ahead with gas station, don't worry. What is that? Uh -huh. Don't say that in Spanish. I know you know that in Spanish. <laughs> Saben que eso nos pasa. Tenemos la idea en español, pero ¿cómo la digo en inglés? Try to, don't worry. So, Jorge, go ahead, please. Okay, teacher, the gas station is a place where, where I fill the, the tank of my car. Okay, okay. What else can you do in a gas station class? In the gas station, they, they have a supermarket. Yes, yeah, like, mm, like uh, mini markets or mini, those places, market. right? in which you can get some coffee convenience store convenience convenience store convenience store exactly or in united states it's very common those stores the 7-eleven stores right so in here we have like the same those places in which you can get in you can have or you can also find a wi-fi hotspot you can buy newspapers and magazines. There are so many activities that you can do there. Genesis Ariel, you know, I know you want to participate. What is a library? Do you know what a library is? And then Jose Alexander, exit. Genesis, library. I want to explain what is a drugstore. But <laughs> Porque le da miedo la que les pregunto, vamos pues. Drugstore. No, no worries, you want I can to explain it. That's the attitude, the attitude. Vamos Genesis, drugstore. Drugstore, okay, the drugstore is a place that you can buy different medicine. Mm -hmm. In some drugstore, they inject to you or something like that. And some drugstore has different snacks or juice or something like that. And basically, drugstore is a place that is common here in El Salvador because you can find the drugstore in a small, in a, in a, what does he say? It's a market or market, uh, the mall? In a mall? The mall and the convenience store. He was explaining it, he was explaining that in the the gas station the you gas can find the drugstore yeah. too yes there we go and that's it. very clear definition you know you can go to a supermarket and there you can find a drugstore if you go to a mall you can find a drugstore there in a convenience store as well so those places are very common in El Salvador right yes. you can easily get so medicine injections in that place. Or you can even find doctors nowadays. Or right? nurse too. We are proud because of, the right? people that inject to are nurse. Oh yeah, they need to know I, I think, that. yeah. Yes. I hope so. Esperaría eso, I hope so, right. Yes. Okay, I'm still missing two definitions. Library and post office. Esas me faltan. Library and post office. Vamos. Who wants to give it a try? ¿Quién se atreve? What a library is. Jose Alexander, mm, go for you. Uh, bueno, no estaba practicando. Um, sería, mm -hmm. it's a place where you can find many, um, you can find many books and you can learn, you can learn about new things, how new cultures, sports, video games, and other different topics about uh, you are interesting. Okay. Can you buy books at a library store? No. In Not some, right. Library. Uh -huh. Tell me. Tell me, Ramon. In some, in some libraries, you can libraries. buy. Yes. 
for example, uh, in San Vicente. Yeah, there are a little library, but you can study there mm -hmm. and you, uh, you can buy okay. some, some books. Okay, too. yeah. I don't want you to confuse library and what is the other one? En español así estamos bien marcadas. Una biblioteca y librería. ¿Cuál es cuál en inglés? ¿Cuál es la biblioteca y cuál es la librería? Tell me. Yeah, yes, you have right. Yes, I am right enough. Eso, por eso me gusta preguntarles, porque así se construye el conocimiento. Vamos, biblioteca. Which is biblioteca en yes. inglés? Library. Uh, library. ¿Y cuál es la library. librería? Ah, book. Book bookstore. Bookshop. 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 Mm -hmm. Bookstore. Bookstore. Bookshop. Exactly. Así que para que no confundamos, ahorita estábamos pidiendo la library. Yeah, library. There we go. How about post office? Tell me about the post office. What is that? What activities you can do in that place? Remember, we are talking about the neighborhood, places that we find in a neighborhood. What is a post office? Volunteers. It's, it's a place where corner. you send mails. Ah, okay. What else? Tell me. Give me more information. And you can receive some letter or something like that that the other people send to you. Mm -hmm. You know? Like maybe in the previous years, back in the days, you were also only able to send like the, the letters, right? Cartas, but how yes. about now? You know, now it's very common to find post office or people who is sending and bringing back those packages, paquetes, big packages, right? It's very common nowadays. So yes. That is a post office. Can you mention uh, the official post office name of El Salvador? How do we call that in fact? What is the official name of the post office that we have here? Correo del Salvador. Correos del Salvador. Have you ever sent or received a package or a letter from Correos del Salvador? Yes? Yeah. No, I didn't know. <laughs> You didn't know, really? Yeah. Now you do. Yes, in my case, I had. For example, usa bien poco, verdad? Eso ahora, en la actualidad, por debido al internet y todas esas cuestiones de la tecnología. No, but you know, in my case, I have. But I listen that you can receive some package from yeah. another country. For yeah. example, you want to ask in Amazon, you can yeah. receive for Correos. Amazon or AliExpress. Yes, right. that's the one that I have tried, and yeah, it works. Si trabaja muy bien, Correo del Salvador. So that is my experience, right? So why am I asking you about this? Les pueden preguntar sobre diferentes lugares. Tratemos de siempre, okay? Tratar de dar la definición en inglés about any other type of places. ¿Qué más les puedo preguntar? What is a supermarket class? Traten de decirme sus palabras. What a supermarket is? What is that? What activities you can do there? What can you buy there? What is the supermarket? Well, a supermarket is like a little store or in some cases a big store because you can find different articles for your house. And yeah. some supermarket you can pay your bills too. Yeah, or you right. can receive money that the other people send to you, send it to you. Uh -huh, exactly. So, uh, yeah. Yes, you can find different articles, for example, vegetable and chicken soup, whatever that you need for your house. Exactly. And, yes. So interesting. So class, look, um, somebody was asking me about this one. How do you say molino? Molino en español incluso puede tener varios significados. Están los molinos de viento, pero creo que se referían al molino de moler comida, ¿verdad? Como maíz y todo eso, probably, right? So, meal. Molino de viento. 
también, mío, pero el específico es grinding. Listo. Para que vean cómo los diferentes tipos. Los molinos, hay de manos, hay industriales también. Hay específicos solo para maíz, para ciertas eh, cosas, arroz y todo eso. So, that is the one. Grinding. Mío. Ok, ahí está. Any other questions? No nos vamos a la plataforma. Questions about this topic. No questions. Places in your neighborhood. Okay, so the use of there is and there are. Okay, there is and there are. It's quite easy, you know. Let me present the information. So you can take a look at the the rules that we have there, okay? We are going to have this video today and probably the practice um, about this topic, we are going to have it tomorrow. Here we go. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are. One, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite. Teacher, I can't in front clear, of, clear the video. I don't know if, in back of, if it's my internet. Well, or, behind. Okay, let me stop here. Between. How about the rest? ¿Y el resto cómo lo escuchamos? On the corner of. Can you listen clear? Yeah. No problem. Yes. Yeah. No problem. Can you hear it very well? If there is no a place problem. near you. If not, let me do that again. Okay, well, actually this is just giving us like some examples about the prepositions of place. Because whenever we are talking about places in town, we easily can use prepositions of places, right? And of course, if we're talking about one place, we need to make reference with singular expressions like there is. But if we, if we are make, making reference about more than one place, we need to use in this case, this structure, there are, okay? Eso es lo que básicamente estaba diciendo. Look at the examples that we have here. Is there a laundromat near here? Short form, yes, there is. Negative expression, mm -mm. no, there isn't. But in this case, it is giving us a complete reply. Podríamos quedarnos en la forma corta, ya, yeah, yes, there is, pero seamos más específicos. There is one across from the shopping center. Mm, no, no, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. Okay. How about the grocery stores? Are there any grocery stores around here? Affirmative. Yes, yes, there are. That is going to be the short answer. Pero quiero dar más detalles, ser más específico. Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Negative expressions. No, no, there aren't. But there are some on Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Okay? And that's it. If we go back to the conversation that we were practicing there, 
There you can find many examples about this. Right. ¿Cómo estamos con esta información? Some, any, one, the use of the reason there are. Is it good? Si no, veamos la explicación. It's right here. Here we go. Between. On the corner of. Okay, here we go. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Mm -hmm. If your answer is yes, there is, you may continue by saying, yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. Okay, prepositions. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Yeah, sure. We are going to make a review on prepositions probably tomorrow or, well, this week, right? But as of right now, let's practice. Speaking time, nos quedan dos minutitos, two minutes to finish, right? Is there, is there a clothing, is there a clothing store in your neighborhood? Is there a clothing store in your neighborhood? Siempre que tenga una pregunta con el verbo to be, ¿qué pasaba? Tengo dos opciones de respuesta. Is there? Are there? Well, okay, speaking practice right now. Afirmativo, yes, there is. Negative, no. No, there, no, there is not. Or no, there isn't. Okay, class, is there a grocery store in your neighborhood? Yes or no? No, yes. no there isn't. Ok, pero no nos quedemos solo con la respuesta corta. No, yes. Vamos, su respuesta corta. Yes, pero there is. Ok, yes, a, there we go. Is there a hair salon in your neighborhood class? Yes, there are. Ok, listen, escucha mi pregunta. Is there a grocery store? Si decimos yes, there are. Completemos, yes, there are some, para que no se dé confusión de que estoy ocupando la estructura incorrecta, ¿ok? Yes, there are some. ¿Se entendió eso que dije? Probablemente no, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Sí? Yes. yes, teacher, yes. yes. There yes. we go, esa es mi clase, muy yes, bien. Yes, there are no store. Ajá. Is there yeah, a laundromat, is there a laundromat in your neighborhood? Yes or no? Is there no, a laundromat? No, 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 there no isn't one. any. No, oh, no, there isn't any. Is there a, uh, ¿qué más? Is there a supermarket in your neighborhood? Yes. No, there yes, there are some supermarkets. Oh, yes, there are some. Okay, and where is the supermarket? Where can I find a supermarket? Ahí entra las direcciones. But don't worry. Let me check on that topic. Y... Sí, toca mañana. Mañana vemos las prepositions of place, right? Su tarea de ahora queda repasar. Busquen lugares en su neighborhood, den las definiciones en inglés, ¿ok? Practice, practiquen buscando definiciones, ¿ok? Acostumbrémonos a dar definiciones en inglés. Questions, comments about this class. No? 
If no, not, no. it was a oh, great Lord, class. Just... Thank you for participating. It was a good class. Really, no. You are great students, you know? Un grupo de estudiantes. Sigamos practicando. Nos vemos mañana. Okay, have a good night class. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Everyone.